Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, the final day, the final video of the day, Jesus, I'm almost going to sleep. But the data mines are actually finished by Oshida and Xabi, so I wanted to make a quick video about that before I go to bed. So yeah, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe, we are trying to hit 50k until the end of the year, so help me out there. Let's get going. There are some very interesting things in here. More interesting than the last one, I think, at least. The first one is this. Like, what, uh, what, what, what do you mean, Gaijin? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Like, flying in orbit? What does that even mean? I mean, yeah, it can mean anything. I'm just kidding, but uh, it probably is for... It can be for some event or some mechanic of being a hover or something, or I don't know it's the oh, I remembered. Yes, I forgot about this. This is the flying orbit for the uh, scout aircraft for the ships. Yes, yes, I forgot that this was added. Uh, so yeah, I was kind of like, what? What do you mean about orbits? But yeah, so trust vector blocked. Nothing too major new menu text so cool yeah new option show canon gyro site indication mm. this is interesting it's probably a way for you to actually take a look if it actually um you can use the gyro gun site or not i'm not in the game right now but this might be in the options already so check it out if you don't like that i think i do uh, but it needs a little bit of tweaking so yeah some texts, text hint, text change to activate. Yeah, doesn't matter too much. New vehicle names. As you see, the new vehicles, nothing new here. Uh, just this one, I think, that wasn't mentioned it, but yeah. Vehicle name, change it. So here we have some very cool ones. Uh, these Raelis ones that I told you guys about, they actually changed the name. So the S199, Sakin. So yeah, very cool. The A4N, which is the most advanced version. Ait, I think it is, uh, the Mirage 3 CJ, Shahak, the AH-1G for the Israeli Feza, MD-500, which is the little bird, Lahatut, La <laughs> I'm doing my best, H1s, as you see, Feza B, Feza D, and E, so very nice. Um, yeah, here, now, finally, we will have the proper names for it. So 913 and 912A for the stat card. Obviously, I mean, it's just basically the same aircraft. So um, it doesn't need to appear in the game. Just this little thing we already show, uh, the German thing we already show the differences. But it is pretty cool to have the differentiation there. And they actually got it right. It is not a MiG-29A because MiG-29As don't exist in the Soviet naming. So yeah, very cool. F4E, finally, the normal F4E is called the Kurnas for the Israeli. So, very cool. Uh, some other changes for the Fighting Falcons over here. The Nets is just Nets now. And I think this is for the um, stat card. Uh, Saraf, Piton, makes sense. Uh, yep, yeah. Iglo. So, yeah. Vehicle names removed. So, yeah, the Mark 7 Lancaster for the French. New modification names, Gunpot, CC, Napalm Bomb, these are the bombs for the, um, the, the what's it called, the, the, um, the Hunter F-58. Some other modifications, Granata Perforante, yeah, it's the other stuff that uh, were was added in other vehicles. Modification names change it, okay. New sensor name, the PG-76, this is the radar of the Kurnus. 2000, new engine model and transmission names. This is <laughs> this is funny. These ones only happen to be in a different name for the Belarusian, the Russians, and the Ukrainians. For some reason, that's funny. New weapon names. Uh, yeah, incendiary bomb for the Hunter. Base spike targeting pod. The drop tanks. Some of the new. I think this is for the. Tornado, and this is for the Hunter F-58. Uh, some bombs, the A-9P for the Hunter, the AGM for the Hunter. All of these are just the bombs and stuff for the Hunter. This is the automatic cannon for the uh, dev vehicle uh, 
Is it the Panzer that uses the... Yeah, it's the Panzer, right? So, yeah. Aim-90 Sidewinder air to air missiles. I mean, that was already in the game, okay? Anyway. Uh, weapons rename it. Some other... Ooh, this is nice. Yeah. I like targeting the boot pod. Yeah, this is actually better. Projector uh, uh, Adin targeting pod. PZS-01 targeting pods, yeah, it makes more, more sense, it, it just makes more sense. Uh, new avatar, the, the, the little event that they always do. Some renaming on the decals, a lot of them. New skins, as you see. Pretty cool, uh, by color, yeah, uh, nice. Uh, new you uh, naval skins, yeah, they said that they were going to add these. Skin change it, okay. Missions, air missions and stuff. Um, and some other changes from the dev. This is the last part of the patch day thing. So yeah, stat card images, more of them. And then we have these two, three things. First of all, day 9N is still there, but it is not used by anything. It is just a better in 9 j Probably going to be added maybe for an event vehicle or something like that. We don't know. Still, new version of the M9. Swiss 450 liter drop tank. This is actually interesting. It's not for the Hunter. So we might see another Swiss aircraft very soon. I don't know what uses a 450 liter drop tank. I mean, I would imagine like the F5 can probably use something like that. The Draken, a Swiss Draken maybe. Uh, if the other one... Actually, I don't think they used it. It's the Austrians, actually. They used the Draken. I don't know if the Swiss actually used it. And then we have, like, the F-18, but I doubt that we will see the F-18. And then we have this. This is... Yes, this is something else. Let me show to you what it is. Yeah, this is it. Uh, it's just a gun pod for the Soviets, for the Mi-24s, as you see. And... It feels like it's a very interesting one. Uh, it has the, probably this is the Yak 12, uh, the Yak B, sorry, a 12.7 millimeter, which is the 50 cal Gatling gun that he, the, the normal V variants of the Hind actually used. And then this is probably like a 7.62 or something like that. I already saw this somewhere. I don't know if it was DCS in a mod or, or some other game. I, I saw this somewhere and yeah, very different gun pod, and they might add for the Mi-24, so hopefully it's added. Very crazy thing. It's just, look at this. And it, it feels like it even has some form of, I don't know, way to maybe look down. I don't think so, no. But still, it's just amazing. I mean, in a helicopter, you kind of don't need that yet, but still. And basically, this is it for part four. Let's go for the new stuff after the patch day. So we have here, after the patch day, so client instability improved to the 09 here, then to the 010. Uh, the lead indicator for the AJ was added. Some other uh, sounds were added as well. So pretty cool. Um, then the .12 uh, version. So yeah, BRs were changed for the Mark 58. So this was yesterday, I think, that they changed it for 9.3 BR instead of 9.7, which I think is very weird, but still what we can do, right? Uh, some other changes in sounds, okay, effects. Uh, this is already live, by the way, okay? So some changes in the guidance. I think this is the missile, yeah, this is the missile for the Tunguska. A lot of people are complaining about it. So uh, we need to see how it is performing, but uh, people are saying that it, it got nerfed pretty heavily, so we need to, to check it out. Sound changes, aircraft guns, think, okay? Uh, Israeli carrying 9D and prevented it. Okay, they changed some of the things on the pylons. Second can they make it Okay, key cut change the bug fix. Some changes on the Croteo track radar. Mm. To, uh, guidance autopilot system of the Tunguska again. Uh, some other changes. Lowering the the range for the VT-1 apparently, but it's turning so much that I don't think I even care. <laughs> it's still a very heavily, uh, like a dangerous aircraft, uh, anti-air system. 
Um, I need to, to show to you guys the custom loadouts as well. We call rename it FRE Kurnas 2000. That makes sense. Skin rename it. Sound changes. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then the U uh, Women's Day International Day. Happy uh, International Women's Day as well. And yeah, basically this is it, guys. There is also one little thing. People are posting about, apparently, uh, it is... There is one thing that uh, I didn't know that we had, but basically the tonation chances are different from each tank. He says that it's not based on anything like right here, but still um, some things will have less probabilities of basically exploding with MRX and some of them have a higher chance. So that's something that you need to worry about. I don't know when this was added or whatever, right? Maybe it was already in the game, but I wanted to just share with you guys because it was posted on Reddit. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. This is the last data mine for the, the patch itself. Anything that comes afterwards, I will only show to you guys if it's something important. And so, yeah, uh, on this sense, right? So I see you guys tomorrow. We will be covering some more stuff, playing more of the game, just a more relaxed gameplay, trying to do some dog fights. I will see if I can actually work on the tutorial on BVR. A lot of people are asking for that and just not knowing how to do anything in BVR. So I really want to focus on that as soon as possible. So keep an eye out and I see you guys on the next one. So bye guys. See you. And thank you again. Oshida and Gazabi.